and U.S. House members have been sent home for the weekend as congressional leaders continue to weigh spending cuts and a possible shutdown of the federal government. The new fiscal year starts October 1st, and there's not an agreement yet upon funding or the deadline extension that has been approved. Members thought they'd be working through the weekend. Now they're off until next week. Government funding, of course, is of great local interest here. Figures show Huntsville, Madison County has 21,000 federal workers, and there are an estimated 44,000 government workers workers and federal contractors on Redstone Arsenal. News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson joins us now in the studio. So Brian, it looks like there's a new push to make these showdowns over spending a thing of the past. That's right. A group of 14 senators, including Senator Katie Britt of Alabama, have a proposal to end the government shutdown confrontations that occur in a divided Washington. Obviously, there's a political theater aspect during these showdowns, but it's also about regular workers and their livelihoods. If there is a shutdown, only federal workers considered essential would keep working and keep getting paid. Now, who that includes is a real question. The proposal that Senator Britt is a co-sponsor of is, sponsored, is supported by a bipartisan group in the Senate. The lead sponsor is Republican James Lankford of Oklahoma. The measure says... If Congress does not pass all 12 of the required appropriations bills on time, an automatic 14-day continuing resolution would be triggered with spending remaining at the previous year's levels. A new 14-day measure would kick in regularly until there's a resolution. Now, Senator Britt spoke on that today. She said, quote, the American people are tired of seeing critical government services being held hostage while Congress irresponsibly pushes to pass massive spending bills at the last minute. She continues, taxpayers shouldn't be forced to keep paying the price for this budgetary political brinkmanship. News 19 has reached out to North Alabama Congress members Dale Strong and Robert Adderholt about where things stand in the GOP budget talks. Neither of their offices provided a response. We'll keep you updated.